Hello everyone and thank you for joining me. This is Nadia with OnlineBusinessBlog.com and today I'm going to show you how I installed WordPress on WAMP server on my computer. So WordPress is a free and open source software with a large number of templates that are very customizable. It is the most popular content management system software out there and it is the preferred blogging software. WAMP is an open source software that can act as a server on your computer and it can only operate on Windows operating system and it stands for Windows, Apache, MySQL and PHP. You've heard of XAMPP, LAMP and MAMP but just don't worry about those for now we're not going to use those at the moment. Now preparation you need to have a, a Gmail account or any other email account dedicated to this and a zip utility software for instance 7-zip.org Next, we're going to head on out to WAMPserver.com, download WAMP, and WordPress.org to download WordPress. Let's go. Go ahead and open a web browser and in the field type WAMPserver.com. That will open up the French website. Click on English on the right corner. Scroll down to the bottom. I'm going to download the 32-bit version. Click on that skip the form and click download it directly and click save file. I've already saved the file on the desktop so I'm not going to repeat this. Let's go ahead and exit out of that. Now open another web browser and let's head on out to wordpress.org click download wordpress click again download wordpress and save the file again and in this instance I've already saved the file on my desktop I'm not gonna repeat this now we're gonna install WAMP server double click the software run click next I accept the agreement click next next and next click install while this is installing I'm gonna go to WordPress and unzip it right click I'm gonna click extract here and that's going to extract the WordPress zipped file and here it is right here. At the setup page it's going to ask me if I want to have Firefox as my default browser and I'm going to click yes. At this page I'm going to enter the email address that I created and click next and click finish notice I have uh, an icon now listed on the bottom corner in my tray I'm gonna click it and select put online then I'm gonna create the database click it again go up to PHP my admin now click on the databases icon and create your database I'm gonna name it T out post click create it's been created. Now let's minimize this real quick. And I'm going to install WordPress now on my WAMP server. So click on the start menu, computer, C, open WAMP, go to the www directory and drop WordPress all of it there. Exit out of there. Now come back to your WAMP server and click on localhost and that's going to open up your localhost and here it is WordPress is installed now we have to configure it click WordPress click create a configuration file click let's go database name is going to be whatever I just named the database T outpost username is going to be left at root R O O T password leave it blank and leave the rest the way it is. Click Submit, click Run the Install, and the site title I'm going to add the .com this time, toutpost.com. Username is going to be the admin. Password, I'm going to enter my password, and the email. And click Install WordPress. Here it is, it's success, and now you can log in. Click log in again, and now 
now you'll see your dashboard. Now if you want to see the interface, the blog, the, what it looks like, click on tlpost.com or click on the name of the uh, website on the upper left hand corner and it changes, it toggles. Here it is. Thank you for joining me. Have a great day.